Okay, so here we have a question about uh, numbers on a scale. Now remember a scale means that the gap has got the same distance between it in terms of numbers on the number line. So say the difference between A and B is 48. So in other words, to go from here to here, it's worth 48. So how many gaps do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six gaps. So each gap worth 48 divided by 6, which is 8. So work out the value of A and the value of B. Well, if we've got a gap of 8, then that'll be negative 8, that'll be negative 16, and that'll be 8, 16, 24, 32. Okay, and 32 take away negative 16 equals 48. So again, it's just a check, isn't it? So A is worth negative 16 and B is worth 32. So the key with this kind of question is to think what scale means. Scale means that each gap must be worth the same, otherwise it wouldn't be in scale. And I told you the distance between those two. Think about how many gaps you've got to work out. Each of those gaps being an equal distance. So if you've got a gap of 48 for six of those, then each space must be worth eight. So just go down, negative 8, negative 16, and so on. OK, so then this question says, complete this table of values. Um, we've got to remember that 3n plus 2 means 3 times n add 2. So for this question here, we're doing 3 times 12 plus 2, which equals 38. And to go this way, well, it's telling us that 3 times something plus 2 must equal 47. So solve. Uh, take away 2 from both sides. So 3 times n equals 45. Divide by 3. n must be worth 15. So again, it's about recognising what these rules tell us. They're telling us that to change whatever this number is, you do 3 times it plus 2 to give you this. Um, in a way, this is, this is basically going back to input, output. So we've got to think in those terms. And if we're going backwards, then we do the opposite operations. So take away 2, divide by 3, and so forth. So a few ideas about using scale and working through how to get the different answers.